Never Stop Learning, week 275. We're going to take a quick look at direct prefs in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so direct prefs is actually a free plugin by Astute Graphics. If you head over to astutegraphics.com slash free, you're going to find a list of free plugins that are available to you. Currently on the list, they got direct prefs, which we'll be going through real quick in this video. And they also have subscribe and auto savior. All right, so once you've downloaded and installed your free plugin, go ahead and launch Adobe Illustrator. You're going to be able to find that plugin by going into the window menu, scrolling down until you find direct prefs, and then click on direct prefs panel. All right, clicking on that is going to bring this guy up. Now, this is the plugin. What we have here is a panel that's going to give you direct access to your preferences. All right, so over here at the top, you've got constraint angle and you've got these presets to help you get to specific angles really quickly. If I hit Command K on a Mac or Control K on a PC, that's going to bring up my preferences. Over here in general, right in the middle, you're going to find constraint angle and notice that by default it's set to zero. All right, so what does that mean? I'm going to hit the M key on my keyboard to activate the rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag. Now we have a constraint angle of zero, so I'm able to draw things out normally. All right, so I'm going to delete this dude. Over here in constraint angle, I'm going to click on 150 and just click and drag. All right, so I'm drawing out this new rectangle at 150 degrees. And this is going to work out with most of your drawing tools native to Illustrator. So let's come over here and play around with this a little bit. Now, if you want to change one of these presets, just Alt or Option click on it. And that's going to allow you to customize this guy. So if I want a specific angle always, I'll just click on it there. Now, if I just want to temporarily change it, just click on this value here that you see over in bold. Enter in a new value. I'm going to go with 45. All right, so now it's set to 45. I'm going to hit the T key on my keyboard. Click here once and type in some words. I'm going to go with astute. Graphics, accept that change. Notice anything different about how my type tool is working? I'm actually being constrained to an angle of 45 degrees. All right, so that's really cool. And uh, this is also gonna work with your keyboard. So I'm gonna use the arrow keys right now. If I go to the right a little bit, notice it's working a little bit different. If I go to the left, again, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna go up and now I'm gonna go down. So we're being constrained to that 45 degree angle. And you can change that value to whatever you want. All right, so keyboard increment. I'm gonna jump over to a new artboard for that. All right, we've got these two squares. It's gonna help me out. All right, currently it's set to one point. I'm gonna target one of these guys. Now I'm gonna to go to the left. Actually, let me bring this guy back to zero. Constraint angle set to zero. Keyboard increment set to one. All right, I'm gonna to go to the left. One, two, and three. All right, now if I click on this bold text here, I could enter in a new value. Let's go with 24. I'll click OK and target my next shape over here. I'm going to go one, two, and three. So I was able to go on a little bit further than the other one was. All right, you got these presets here, so you can change them really quick. I'm going to leave it set to one point. And down here at the bottom, we've got guides and grids. All right, so I'm going to jump back to that other artboard. Now, guides. All right, if you want to access the guides, you have to go into the view menu, scroll down till you find guides, and then they have this uh, sub menu over here. All right, and they also have some keyboard shortcuts. Some of these guys I remember, some of them I need a refresher on sometimes. All right, so instead of digging around in there, you can just come over here and really quickly just click on this icon. All right, so guides are gone and guides are back. The keyboard shortcut for that is going to be command semicolon. All right. Command semicolon is going to bring them back. And if you're on a PC, it's control semicolon. All right, so that's one that I remember quickly, but this one I forget sometimes how to lock it. So I'm glad they have this. If you click on this to unlock your guides, now you could actually target your guides and reposition them or transform them however you need to. I'm going to undo that and lock these guys down again. All right, so grid, I do remember that keyboard shortcut. That one's going to be command parentheses. All right, command parentheses is going to get rid of them as well. But it's easier just to click on this icon right there. It even shows you that they're visible and now they're hidden. All right, if you want to find them in the view menu, you got to scroll down and you're going to find your guides over here. 
And just below that, you're going to see show grid. All right, so let's get rid of that. So now we have the grid visible. This last feature over here, this little magnet looking guy, this is going to control your snapping. Currently it's enabled. If you click on it, notice you have that line there, so then it's disabled. So if you want to snap to this grid, keeping everything nice and aligned, then just make sure you have this guy enabled here. So Direct Prefs is a free plugin that's going to give you direct access to your preferences. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Direct Prefs in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.